Hi, so it's Sarah here, and I'm um, just taking the dogs for a quick walk through, sorry about that, through the woods. Um, I was starting to do the stables, um, but I could see they were starting to take themselves for a walk. And um, this farm is really open, so they could actually go if they wanted to and um, they they've never gone really further than the drive before but best that I just take them for a quick run before they take themselves for a walk so Dudley's found what I like to call a tennis ball carcass which is basically a broken tennis ball because Dudley is obsessed by tennis balls Dad's where you go I need to throw it Oh, now I've got a. Oops, sorry. Now I've got a bone. Hector gets really possessive over toys. We always say he's a bit deprived, so he gets a bit spoilt brat. So you can see his like. He just goes all out to get it, and um. He actually gets makes Dudley a little bit nervous the way he does it, so Dudley leaves him to it. It's quite funny that Dudley's bigger than Hector. He's actually a bit of a wimp. Here, Dads. You won't forget that uh, Hector's got the ball. And all I do when Hector gets a little bit like possessive is I just ignore him. We don't interact with Hector when he's got a toy that he's got a bit possessive over because we don't want to encourage that behaviour. So Hector, I'm just getting the ball out of Dudley's mouth. Dudley, um, Hector's gone up there, so Dudley can have his tennis ball carcass back. So yeah, because my two are really good at sharing, they don't always understand that other dogs aren't. So then they get a little bit worried to say they know it doesn't get so worried but Dudley gets a bit worried if a dog isn't very good at sharing see Nala just wants to play And Dudley just waits for his opportunity to grab the ball. There's no point me filming Hector, he's off up to the left. But in that sort of grass cover, Hector has got really good camouflage. He's coming back. See if you, he runs sideways through that thick reed. It's quite hard to see him. Not as desperate for one of them to play chase. Yeah, it's a nice quiet morning. Nothing much to update anybody on. I'm really pleased with Nala's condition. Uh, and her phantom pregnancy is going. So that'll be hopefully good for the show we've got in a couple of weeks time. And we need to practice a little bit more with Hector with showing because with the pointers, they like to hold their tails when they stand them. And Hector doesn't like you holding his tail. So we need to do a little bit of practice on that just to get him used to me just holding his tail. I don't have to hold it hard, I just have to hold it up 
make sure he holds it up. I mean, even if he held it up himself, I wouldn't need to keep doing it, but you just, I'm a novice at showing, so you just keep learning. The more you do, the more you learn. And showing two different breeds, being such a novice and two such different types of dogs, you know, different personalities, Nala will go anywhere. She's so confident. People can do whatever they like to her as long as I'm with her and I've got a bit of food. She really doesn't care. Whereas Hector's a little bit more wary and isn't so keen for the judge who is a stranger to the dog to sort of feel all over them because the judge will run his hands, his or her hands, all over the dog. And Nala doesn't care, Hector does. Oh, here they go. So Nala's gone super fast. I'll try and zoom in. So you can see now Hector's running. He does camouflage really well. I think they camouflage better when they're heavier ticked, which is why people tend to prefer them heavier ticked. But I really like Hector, Hector's colour and markings. So I watch a YouTube channel and they are kind of like the opposite to me with dogs in the way that they like to treat them and raise them and all the rest of it. And she, she doesn't abuse the dogs in any way. She loves them. She looks after them really well. But I just wouldn't keep dogs that way. But she always says about males when they wee over where another dog's weed that you should stop them because that's like being a jerk, I think is what she calls it. And getting passive aggressive by doing it etc etc well Hector and Dudley do it both way rounds as in Hector will wee over where Dudley's weed and Dudley will wee over where Hector's weed and it never goes any further than just a bit of a weeing contest so I can't see that it's a major problem but I guess different breeds are more inclined or more prone to fight. And Dalmatians and German shorted pointers aren't, I guess, is the only thing I can say to that. Um, and she also says about tail up, well, she chops her tail, dog's tails off. Not personally, she has a vet to do it. So how can you really tell if her dog's got his tail up or not when I haven't got a tail. Um, you know, it's a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, when she says about tail up, Dudley is built with a high tail carriage. You know, his tail is actually, it's relaxed and it's floppy, but it does wave a bit like a flagpole. And that's not you should have a lower tail set, you know, to be completely correct. And that is his main fault confirmation wise. So, I mean, if I was looking to improve on Dudley, I'd want a smaller bitch with a lower tail set. But anyway, you kind of got to look at how the dog's built. I mean, look at Doberman's. They're built with a super high tail set. Are they always being aggressive? No, it's just the way they're built. And I read some research a little while ago and it was about docking tails. And it was some sort of research that I think one in 50,000 tail injuries could be prevented if the dog was docked. Well, that's a hell of a lot of tail injuries to, you know, before your docking has done any good. So I thought that was quite interesting research because 
just goes to show it's a little bit pointless. Um, and there's some breeds also get their years cropped. And because I'm Welsh, years as in what's on people's heads to help you hear, and years as in time, how many years old I am, sounds the same. <laughs> I can't, it's really hard to say it the correct way with a Welsh accent. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, they get their ears cropped uh, because when a dog fights, the main area that gets injured are its ears, apparently. So I'd rather my dogs didn't fight. That sounds really mean. And she gets them done professionally by a vet. Although she does talk about how she does sometimes struggle to find a vet that will do it. Well, to me, that says it all. And she, you know, vets obviously don't think it's necessary. Come on, guys, going this way. So the dogs, <laughs> they love this field for some reason. It's uphill, quite deep grass, got a ditch. And they seem to go a bit crazy in there. Sorry, that gate was a bit hard to shut. This way! Dad, you meant to have a run as well? Nala. She's a bit crazy. Ah, Nala's now incited the game. <laughs> so you see, she just jumped on Hector. She was like, let's go, let's go, let's play. So there they go. <laughs> I love to see them run like this. It's even better when Dudley joins in because he just. He pretends he's so serious and then he looks like such a goof when he runs. It's amazing. You can see how fast they're going. Like, I'm zoomed in. This is a big field. Oh, out of sight. Hector loves to be chased as well. And Arla quite, quite likes to do the chasing. She likes to grab them by the tails and then they've got to stop. <laughs> I think they're having a breather now. So yeah, I'll leave it here. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get some nice videos soon. Hoping to take them to the beach. I just keep running out of time. Yeah, okay. Bye.